Well, they did say they would take the motherland back, and by God, they're doing it. Hello everyone, this is a great shot Moment 7 here bringing you another CH2 replay. It's a 4v4 on C17. I've been doing a run of uh Comfy for us to replays in 4v4 modes lately. I think Alec is very disappointed with that decision, but it is one I will continue to do, at least until I do the next one, which will probably be a 2v2 if I that I think it's a 2v2 or 1v1, and I double check my lineup. But in any case, we have blue, Volve, Space Balls, Dark Squirrel. Enriquez, Dark Harry Hole, Hong Kong, and Nemo. Thank you so much to uh, those who submit your replays. I'll announce who submitted at the very end of this uh, at the very end of this um, replay. But in any case, uh, make sure you submit your replays at greatshotproductions.gmail.com. Make sure that you submit your moments as well, and I'll check it out. And of course, it is very very important you do one other thing if you could be so kind uh make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on youtube it really does help me out i don't really try to say it too much but uh any support you guys could give would be greatly appreciated thank you so very much and thank you for supporting my content for literally all these years holy crap i'm getting old but hey at least i'm getting better at these replays right not even focusing on the content man i'm getting so much better any case we have american forces and we have two of them we have uh, two Soviet versus three Vermont and OKW. So no British, no SimCity. I know a lot of people are disappointed or relieved. One of the two. American forces opening fire. D he went assault grins, but deciding, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go long range against riflemen. Hate to say it, buddy. I don't think that will work. I don't think that works. But hey, you know what? You tried and you utterly failed. Uh, MG pre preventing some guys from moving up. Again, this is where... Oh my god, you actually got the grenade upgrade. Who is this? Blue? Nice job. I love the fact he got the grenade package that's going to stop the MG from suppressing his infantry, allowing them to move up. If he spreads them out effectively, he could probably neutralize that MG. And he can probably fire another smoke in 10 seconds so we can continue on the pressure. A lot of American forces. I don't think that Grand Air Squad is going to win. I think he's going to hold him back. Now, smoke needs to fire again, but it's so close to dying. Not going to work. Instantly KO'd. Looks like Grand Air is focused on him. Most likely, so that way that no smoke grenade goes out and they can suppress them. Also, these guys should have probably spread out with one squad going on left and one squad going on right. That way they could overwhelm him. Good grenade, though, is going to almost wipe that Grandier squad and push them back. We have Blue, by the way, going with Rifle Company. Really good supportive doc abilities. I really enjoy those. And Hong Kong, of course, with Mechanized Assault. That's why he did the Assault Grens. Now, on the flip side, we have Dark Harry. Uh, Jaeger Armor Doctrine is what he picked, and that's good for long range and recon esque forces oh we have a good push oh never mind not even a good push uh, most of it's suppressed or dead good way to start off a game oh we have a penal charge going off and the building is somehow still alive it just, maybe a little bit more in the building and it would have killed it anyway uh space balls went with Soviet reserve essentially he's going to really focus on that manpower bonus he's going to get because again with the uh, rapid conscription and all the bonuses you get with conscripts, I see a lot of conscript spams coming. So, for those who missed the conscripts, oh boy, oh boy, are they going to be making a solid comeback in this part. But in any case, um, let's see right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Looking across the board, not, not much, actually. No other doctrines picked. Actually, I forgot to check rank. Let's do that real quick while everyone's kind of killing each other. But still early enough in the game. Uh, right now, it's pretty even across the board, honestly. Again, rank doesn't matter. It's a terminology I will continue to use because, again, the ranking system of that is essentially playtime. But it does give an idea of how, if a if player has no stars that they could be bad. Or, like the game I did last night, um, oh my god, the guy that had no stars played better than... And was, it was more determined to fight than a lot of guys who had three stars, which was, again, just goes to show rank doesn't matter. But meaning, uh, speaking of which, um, Allies doing a damn good job holding territory across the board. Um, again, C-17 is a weirder map um, just by its positioning because it really turns into a 2v2, honestly. Sure, there might be a guy fighting mid, but unless a team really f like doesn't focus on left or right, it doesn't have a tendency to do that. Uh, more teams going to be knocked out by a Storm Pioneer coming on the flank, but Conscript should push them back. And honestly, saving up a lot of munitions, I could easily see a ton of PPSH upgrades going very, very soon. Um, 
for all of his conscript squads, which would be very deadly. Just have a massive blob of conscript with PPSHs charging you with Ura. That is a horrifying prospect, but something that the Germans will probably face very soon. Meanwhile, German, I'm uh, sorry, American infantry pushing forward. Scout car just chilling. We have a fight position right here, but it's about to die. Again, very close to the front. Don't know exactly why he made that there. Um, don't know why you got in there, Volve, but uh, sure. Again, very close from mortar fire, and also you got in when it was about to die, so great job there. Anyway, it looks like we have Lieutenant trying to push on up. MG suppressing them, though. Well, okay, suppress one. I, yeah, it should be fine now. Maybe we'll flank right, but as we can see, we have the barbed wire there, so he's going to be unable to. With the smoke, though, he should be able to be unsuppressed. How long it takes? Oh, there we go. Ten seconds. That's cool. Or a few seconds. Um, scout car pushing back this, but we have some light mines delaying his advance, which is pretty good. At least that's, you know, doing what he can, holding them back. Um, meanwhile, my phone just went off, but hopefully it's nothing major. I know professionalism at its finest, and no, it doesn't look like there's any emergencies, which is great. Uh, last thing I need is an emergency or something popping up during a replay. Of course, I would do the responsible thing and ignore the emergency and just get back after the replay because I'm that much of a jackass. No, 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 really. I, I, no, I, I would I would leave immediately. Bye. No. But anyway, um, let's see. Right now, it looks like overall, resource-wise, Allies and Axis pretty damn close. Allies have a small lead, but the Germans are taking that away from the Allies and might be able to put a little bit more advantage. Neither side has... Uh, Put down any uh, munitions or fuel, which is, again, a little concerning, especially. But it's also concerning because you have, like, the Wehrmacht player putting all this manpower to have this, you know, trying to build up. But then you have the German OKW player that's like, who needs manpower? I have a thousand in the bank. I'll just keep saving it for life. Sure, mortar teams opening fire, but I, either because of the heavy cover or the, 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 the how this is structured... Not doing all that much. Kubel coming in for a flank, and Grandier is also coming in. These guys retreating. Oh, these guys could die. Construct Squad is trying to fire, but they don't have enough damage. They need to fall back now. Uh, meanwhile, large assault going on right. We have assault grenades coming in from behind. Throwing grenades on the MG. Uh, MG, low on health, but still relatively okay. Assault grenades not going to make it out of there alive. Yeah, they probably should have been. It would have been better if they just, you know, left instead of throwing the grenades. That's that risk reward. Maybe would have got the kill, but eh, and maybe would have gotten out, but just wasn't meant to be. Was not meant to be. Anyway, uh, bazooka teams on riflemen. Um, I'm not a big fan of these. I know. Okay, one or two squads is fine. All your riflemen is not because essentially it turns a riflemen into AT infantry, and if you expect this infantry to do well against other infantry, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. I know they still have four guys with, a, you know, a normal, uh, again, they normal guns, but still, I it just decreases them so efficiently. I just, I just, mm, it, it's just a lot of decreased potential for those troops. And that's why I tried to make one squad bars, one squad bazookas. I know maybe the enemy can see it coming, and maybe it's also not best to just give them, like, half bazookas, half bars, because then it's just... Well, they, then you, they, they may not know. It's it's a risk-reward scenario how much you give and take with those. MG suppressing oh, Blue's units once again. Poor Blue. He's really trying to get around those MGs. But god damn, they're just... Every time he smokes, he just backs up. That's the real big counter. Is unless you can quickly move through the smoke, you're in for a, uh, a big issue. Now, we have a double 50 cal on standby. That should hold back the scout car, at least temporarily. Uh, we have a pack gun being made by the Germans. So they're ready for allied armor. Do we have any allied armor to speak of? We have ambulances. Um, but no one has even gotten the building on the Soviet side. Uh, Nemo has, has gone a scout car. And, okay, so it looks like... Wait, were they, was he building it? Hold on. Was one of them... Okay, so one of them is building the next building. So they are, they could get some medium armor. Okay, we could, we could see that. Big flank, though, coming in with a... Flame half track. Conscripts rushing in, and we have also partisans with AT firing on the half track. AT grenade going out, one more Panzer Shrek shot, which is hilarious coming from, you know, those troops. Um, coming in for the kill. Honestly, I think it would be best if he just sacrificed those units. They're so costly to reinforce, it's ridiculous. So, 
him sacrificing those troops not a bad idea. A T grenade being thrown at least kills the half track, and a lot of Dark's forces were taken out. So even though that flank was pretty successful and at least knocking out the cash and whatnot, he did lose quite a bit in that push. So I don't know if that's necessarily worth it in the long run. A lot of conscripts, no way this Grandier squad can hold this position. Needs to fall back immediately. Otherwise, PPSH is going to mow him down very quickly. We can't see here just on retreat, he lost quite a bit of health. So very good close range with these guys. And he has these partisans on standby. So I'm assuming he's trying to do a massive anti-infantry and anti-armor blob, but I just think that's going to be too costly for his manpower to be really that effective. But we'll see. PL troops, again, I like this coming from multiple angles, so that way you can A, surround him, uh, open fire with just normal guns, or throw a satchel on him. Now, luckily gets the kill, going to steal that MG-34. Storm Pioneer still coming in. Once again, he's really just saving up his manpower. I'm not entirely sure why he's doing that, but he is. Meanwhile, allies, once again, having a lot of issues on right. Again, they're just kind of pinned. They could fire smoke, but dude, I don't know how many times you have to smoke, but you're not going to get past this spot. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. This is like the fourth time you smoked, and he's just like, cool, back up, open fire, or just had something else to mow you down. He does have a double 50 cal, which I'm assuming is meant to advance against the armor and infantry, but I'm not entirely sure how effective that exactly is going to be. So, I have to watch out about that. Mortar team opening fire upon the enemy. Again, all the MGs are currently moving. You activated it, and looks like you're spreading them out, so maybe you're trying to guard, but the... Yeah, the scout car is just going to use its speed to get around your MGs, and it looks like it's doing it pretty damn well. Um, oh, boy. It's... It's not looking good. Scout car... Again, good positioning by Nemo. Really good positioning, ne neutralizing the enemy in this sector. Uh, meanwhile, again, looks like we have um, space balls pushing more in mid. I think that's a good idea. Uh, the left side doesn't look like there's really any fighting. And as long as they hold back these Grandier squads, I think D Dark Harry is going to be pinned. Um, so he's mad. Why is he mad? Oh, all the squads retreated. Cool. Maybe that MG. God, they're just dealing with so many MGs. This is amazing. This is World War One, literally. Anyway, Stuart opening fire on these guys. That giant blob of grenadiers holding back the partisans actually pretty well. Uh, okay, almost well. This thing's not heavy cover, so he's just going to start mowing down those low health troops. Might be able to get a kill. It's very close. Looks like he's not going to be able to focus. He's instead going to focus on the infantry there. Not bad. Rifle grenade coming in. Almost gets the wipe, but manages to get the hell out of there with a good retreat. Partisan AT forces firing through in close range. Again, not great with defense, and they are for armor, but they'll at least hold their own until more conscripts come in. And again, I feel like it's not the fact that Grandiers aren't powerful infantry. I just feel that Spaceballs is literally just has so much. It's ridiculous. And if he Uras, Oh, he doesn't have Uras. But if he gets over here, he might be able to kill the Stuka. Or if he can lock this thing down. Oh, he doesn't have the manpower. I was going to say, he can try to find out where it is and get a partisan troop to just come out of a hole and open fire at it. Goddamn. Meanwhile, American forces blobbing, as you can see, to try to make a counterattack. Not bad. We haven't really checked on Dark Squirrel. He's kind of just chilling on the left. Not a bad idea, honestly. And I like how he's planting mines. He's guarding his flank. Excellent job. Again, if the enemy thinks, oh, I'm going to sneak past their line and kill all their Katushas or, you know, a priest or whatever they end up getting for artillery or maybe space balls as normal artillery, at least they have something preventing that. So very nice job in that regard. Um, half track, it looks like moving up. Let's see what the Germans are up to. Honestly, we know that Dark has a uh, Panzer IV being made. So he's moving that up. I don't know how effective that's going to be because of the AT on both Soviet sides. Maybe the American player, but again, then when you think about the bazooka teams, and he has a lot of bazooka teams, so I don't exactly think that a Panzer IV is going to be all that effective in that engagement. Uh, meanwhile, we have Volve going Arbor Company, so I immediately despise this person now, and I think he's going to suck, but that's just my opinion. Assault Grenadier is just charging forward, most likely just click to take the point. And quickly realizes that that is simply not going to happen. Sure, may, the bazooka may decrease our attack power, but by God, they still have four squads. Oh my God, this is going to be brutal. We literally have so many conscripts moving on in. Opening fire. Panzer IV just doesn't give a shit. Opening fire. Tons of AT grenades being thrown. 
We have additional ones. Again, Grandier's being burned alive by the uh, Molotov, but so are these guys. A T grenade still being thrown. Panzer IV desperately trying to hold back the Soviet infantry, but being hit on a flank from the American blob. And now we have three allied blobs running wild in mid. And uh, I don't think the Axis can really hold against this right now. And if they're free to move around, I can easily see like an attack here to knock out the cache or attack here. Either way, they knock out some serious vital resources. Knocking out the munitions is huge because you cut, I mean, it won't cut their supply per se, but that's a lot of munitions out now going to the allies. That would be what, 73? That's in the scale if you're doing freaking pretty good, in my opinion. Any 50's good, 60's great, 70 plus is like, you're freaking loaded. 123 is still my record, 123. But in any case, it looks like Blue is managing to finally smoke and actually advance and take a little bit of territory. We have a, still that 50 cal machine gun on standby. They're pushing here. He's getting additional AT, but it's going to be a little too late. If that Panzer IV advances right here, I think he'll be relatively fine. But again, I think he's going to keep that thing on standby. It looks like an engineer squad tried to walk over and be like, I'm going to take this point and instantly gets mowed down by four squads. Note, I know I said that again, four squads, bazookas won't be as effective. I love the Panzer for coming in, but not doing all that much, honestly. The big thing about it is the fact that versing one squad, you're absolutely right. Um, the, the rifleman will be fine, but against multiple squads, they're going to lose that combat effectiveness quite a bit. Anyway, we do have some mines over here. So it looks like Ekronix is going to try to lock this area down as much as possible. Um, again, not a bad idea as well. Stay defensive. Panzer headquarters in a very weird position. I wouldn't necessarily like this position because the enemy could essentially throw stuff over and that could be a big issue or a key factor. Um, conscripts also moving in. Looks like they might get another free MG, which will be MG 34 from the Germans, which is pretty damn good. Um, so very nice in that regard. We have a Panzer IV though charging against American forces. Americans having a rough time while the Soviets are literally just breezing through it looks like a lot of the German players. And remember that all of them are about equal rank. So there's no one here that's supposed to suck. And right now I haven't really seen a player that truly sucks. Sure, Blue has maybe smoked a little bit too much and maybe I could say the uh, Conscript uh, Blob is not necessarily the most effective tactically. But, because again, if the enemy was smarter, they could probably counter with a lot of anti-infantry stuff. But, for what they're do currently using it as, they're doing really well. Um, massive blob of conscripts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, they did say they would take the motherland back. And by God, they're doing it. AT infantry coming in. Uh, that Oswin better freaking run. That Stuka better run for its life, honestly. I love how these troops don't give a fuck. And are literally just advancing. Stuka, so close being hit by that they're pulling back the conscripts and real and he realizing i i would have sacrificed i would have sacrificed to kill that stuka if you would have killed that stuka that's pretty freaking big news now remember how i said about that being very close to the front all they're doing is smoking it and now they're throwing three satchels on it so that thing's dead yeah took two but three would have done it and now he doesn't have the ability to deploy panzers uh was he going to i'm assuming he was getting close to so the fact he can no longer is pretty big. But it looks like the allies, because they're blobbing, it takes a little while to get back to the front. Uh, Dark has managed to actually recap some territory. And he's actually getting quite a few kills off those conscripts. He, the, the conscripts might be blobbing, but he's at least taking them out piecemeal. Um, anyway, Oswin managing to take mid, though very low on health. And he could be knocked out by a few troops. T-34, 76, just rolling on in. Not really much of a defense here. Stuka barely making... Oh, no. T-34 knows exactly where it is, apparently, and just going in for the kill. Bye, Stuka. Oh, my God. That's a big loss. That's a mighty big loss for Ankronix. Meanwhile, we have the American player trying to push. But we can see here Nemo's just like, nah. Moves up Grandiers to open fire. These guys do have bars, but we also have a Panzer for opening fire, it looks like. Most likely from the other player, the other German in the region. Kind of misses a lot of the major vital points. Miss the AT and all the infantry over here. Kind of a, not even, yeah, kind of a mixed bag on, actually, now it's just a poor Stuka fire, honestly. So a lot of these guys got Panzerwurfers. I'm assuming they got it to fight the blobs. Not a bad idea, though, I, I will say this. As much as I like that, I do think maybe a Brumbar would be slightly better. Especially if one player's already gone Panzerwurfers. Because one player can be trying to get that blob. The other one can be consistently doing damage. The Brumbar is very, very good at killing infantry. Exceptionally good. And then taking hits from AT guns, it has really good front armor. So, again, that's my recommendation. And what 
I would do. But if you can hit the blob with the Panzerwerfer, it's great. But again, you have to make sure you identify where the enemy's going. Otherwise, you can have situations like this where, yeah, the, the, you're going to miss. And they're just going to keep harassing your front line. It's going to be 60 seconds or whatever before you can fire again. So, nice job with the mortar carriage, by the way. Like, again, just doing consistent damage. Again, Grandier needs to run. Otherwise, it's going to die. It is so very, 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 very close. Panzerwerfer pushing back the blob very effectively. Very nice job. Again, Soviet player coming back and to recapping mid. Very good. German player, though, I'll give the Germans this. It's a risk. Okay, they have a lot of fuel points, so that's good. They're fuel-wise, they're doing okay. They're at least, without having a fuel currently active, they're doing pretty good. And with the fuel, they'll be doing exceptionally well. Dark Squirrel, by the way, got a IS-2, so I can't wait to see how effective that is. But uh, they have fuel points, and I would say there is you need munitions. Munitions is key to victory, always. You want to keep doing your strikes? Get me to get that. Ekranix or whatever his name is uh, got fortifications. He's really going to go defense, which is weird because usually when a fortified area you can hold. I don't think he can hold right, but if he somehow manages to lock it down before really a counterattack, best of luck to him. We have looks like two oh, tank destroyers, one Wolverine, one Jackson just chilling. AT gun trying to go for the kill. Luckily T-34 manages to stop that from happening. Meanwhile, we have a Panzer IV that went back behind enemy lines uh, to kill something. I don't know what they killed. I honestly don't know what that is. Is that a Jeep? I think it's an ambulance. Could be an ambulance. Anyway, it looks like the... Uh, yep, it looks like the, one of them got Panzer Fausted and stopped. Yeah, that's with the Grand Ears right there. Definitely. So these are trying to make it back outside before something goes after them. Not a bad idea. Panzerwerfers as well on standby. I guess trying to hold back against that blob, which is right now being healed, by the way. Massive amount of conscripts. Oh, sorry. Partisans opening fire against the Panzer IV. AT grenades being thrown. T-34 going for one more shot and get a kill. Great shot. Actually gets a rear armor shot. Definitely penetrates and gets the kill. Pa uh, possible Panzerfaust going at it, but the Grandiers won't be able to do much else. They're Again, they're too weak, and they could possibly go for it again. I just don't think that's a great idea. Also, they don't have the munitions for it um, right now. So, if, if this guy really wanted to stop the blob, he could do a Sturmvik Strike to really just suppress all the infantry. That's what I would do. But if he holds confident he can pull out, then great. Uh, IS-2, though, is rolling on in and most likely going to try to go for an uppercut. Try to come in from the side and overwhelm them. So, that can be very effective. A, a penal is moving in. Again, murdering absolutely brutalizing the stern pioneers they come around the corner with the t-34 as well they just murdered the almost and they might actually get the kill honestly or the is2 well oh god the almost sedan's like run run away is2 is like no you shall not run oh nope goes for the building okay put he puts the turret right in the building and fires point blank at the men because that's how you kill stuff in buildings you put the, you put the tank in it and they open fire in the room which the enemy's in now, for Captain Morfurt, nice idea, especially with the uh, tank there, but they're focusing on the infantry, so you may want to retreat that. Meanwhile, it looks like the Germans on right are falling apart, but on left, they're still holding pretty strong, and all we have a Panzerwerfer being fired, plus zeroing artillery. I think it's zero. Yeah, it's zeroing. Um, so that's going to cause a lot of artillery fire, as long as they get sight lines on this stuff, opening fire, and possibly taking out a lot of the American forces in the region, at the very least pushing them back. The, yep, okay, there goes the EMG. Very good. We have an IS-2 just cutting through the uh, middle of the map. They're just easily taking this territory. Do they have a Panther? They do, but it's running into the American blob, which is quite hilarious in my book. Also, there's really no defense over here. He built this... Once again, this is a bad spot because you can literally use this wall to get close and then do the smoke thing and, like, again, no issues. Uh, I, I just think it's a bad location. Frag bomb. Amazing frag bomb. Knocks out most of the American forces. They are heavily reduced in the amount of, well, attack power they have. I think they lost three squads in that push. So, very nice job there. Um... Penal's moving in. Again, have to watch out for his satchel there. He's getting more PTS rifles. Not a bad idea. Panzerwerfer for coming in. Doing more damage to that blob. So right now, Volve has lost a ton. A absolute ton of men. Now, this Panzer IV is right now stuck. I don't think it's going to stop the satchel from going off. And now at least keep the Panzer IV from really engaging or moving up for a time being. I don't know how effective that's going to be. Panzerwerfer as well coming in. Stopping the blob and its tracks. 
and the American artillery almost kills their own men. You know, he has three Panzerwerfers, so a good T-34 from behind me lines could kill a lot of them. There's actually four over there. Holy crap. But, that being said, these American players are blobbing. I will not deny that. So, it is a normal strategy to stop blobs, get a Panzerwerfer. If you want to slowly wear him down over time, get a Brumbar, and I would rec at least definitely recommend that. But, if you want to get that, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Conscripts and uh, Partisans are fighting desperately amid. They don't have any armor to speak of, by the way. Um, still, 600 fuel. Spaceballs is pretty much just balling it all the way there with uh, just his Conscript squads. Just being a baller, honestly. I, 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 I'm, I, I can't really think of any ball puns right now. I'm too tired. So, uh, yeah, he's just doing very well. Um, keeping the enemy pushed back and holding and keeping control of mid with the T-34 in standby while Papa Stalin is over on the left. Now, if I was him, I would go over and try to deal with this. I would, of course, have a minesweeper for going to enemy territory, but I think it would be best for him to go engage and clear out the sector and even take this because you can easily choke point this entire front by just an MG facing this area by these buildings. They can't push through. So an MG kind of covering this area would suppress any blobs coming through. And again, the, only, the other place you have to worry about is here. But an MG in this location would kind of stop any flanks. And now would kind of push over to mid. Which as long as he's holding mid, he should be fine. Maybe place some mines along your flanks. Which is what Dark Squirrel is doing. So he should be doing pretty damn good. Also, allies. I like all the munition caches. We look right now. Allies 62. Germans 42. That's a ma major difference in terms of overall munitions per turn. Panzerwerfer coming down, kind of missing the mark really. Grandiers advancing, tons of Panzerwerfers just on standby waiting for a blob to pop up. Um, we have, again, we, uh, was it? Yeah, we have additional American forces coming in with artillery from the Germans coming down. Uh, do we have all the doctrines? Okay, so Nemo went spearhead, not a bad doctrine. I feel like if you're going to go with a mortar half track, you would have done that earlier in the game. And I feel like if you wanted a frag bomb and tiger, assault support might have been a little better. But, that, hey, that's just me. At least you got the tiger. Um, we got a bulldozer, which I freaking hate. It's, again, essentially just the, the idea is similar to, like, a Brumbar. Essentially kills infantry and fortifications. But, I don't know. i just not a big fan of the... It looks like we have artillery coming down by the Katusha. Very close range. Could annihilate this blob, honestly. Oh, very close to. It looks like actually some of the rockets hit the building, which does suck because as, as that limits the capabilities to kill the infantry and force them, or at least they force them into a retreat. Tiger tank and panther on standby, so it looks like Nemo is prepped and ready to go near Pop Cap. Again, even though the Germans are losing, and to be fair, their ally is definitely losing, the fact that two guys are near Pop Cap is a major concern. That means they're most likely on the right, they're not going to be broken. And we can see here by the American players, they are falling apart very quick. You can see here this Panzer IV just alone is just mass murdering a ton of American player forces. With 20 kills by itself, it's actually just owning the bulldozer because the bulldozer is meant against infantry, not armor. Uh, so Panzer IV is just going to continue wrecking and killing the bulldozer. There goes the ambulance, and yeah, the entirety of the right-hand flank has fallen apart. Now, the question is, will the Germans actually exploit this? The Allies currently have not, and okay, you threw a grenade on the, uh, at least I think that was the grenade, uh, on the Panther. That did absolutely nothing, but hey, nice attempt. At least you tried. At least you tried. I mean, if you would have gotten to the machine gunner's nest and you actually got through, like, a basketball hoop, that would have probably killed the crew, but... Um, unless they, you know, dive on it like a scene of fury. But, um, overall, Germans are definitely taking advantage of this. But it looks like the Allies are, too. A lot of conscripts kind of moving in. Overwhelming a Panther that I'm assuming was coming over to help. Realizing, oh, shit, this is uh, not a good sign. Half-track coming in to burn the infantry away. But, again, these guys literally have AT gear on. So, he comes around the corner. They're just going to turn around and Panzer Shrek this son of a bitch. Although, I think they're kind of more busy on the Panther. I don't think they're going to kill it. Because it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be close if they do. Very close. One more shot with the Panzer Shrek. He needs to take the shot, does not, and gets pulled back. Very close. Very, very close um, to killing the Panther, but it lives. It manages to get out and is relatively fine. Airstrike coming in on right. Sturmvik Strike coming in to suppress the infantry. And it looks like we have additional armor or something coming in with, I don't know, something came down on here. I'm assuming maybe the Major? 
I'm not entirely sure what caught, came in as well, but whatever it is, they're holding. Also, I think there's an elephant on the field. There is an elephant on the field, and it's literally just sniping the armor. Plane crash in mid, which is always great to see. Tiger tank and elephant opening fire along this corridor. Tons of armor right there just being obliterated by the elephant tiger combo along with the AT gun stuff like that they have backing that stuff up meanwhile oh my god the poor AT guns are like we got this assault friends coming in and right now the infantry can't shoot because they're blocked by the pathfinding of the AT guns so it's literally just a clusterfuck right here Larry artillery brush coming in help break up the infantry assault friends in cover just trying to mow them down and again not a bad idea we've seen what happens when again really good infantry is in cover they can just hold the line for quite some time Unfortunately, with these health grins, not up there enough to really hold. Ah, uh, so that is a major concern. Elephant probably should be focusing on vehicles rather than, oh, I don't know, armor. Uh, sorry, sorry, not armor, infantry. Was that, a was that an elephant shot? No, it's three, never mind. Damn, dark, you just keep losing the grand ears. Like, look at that, it's so close to dying. It's ridiculous. Anyway, once again all sorts of armor and stuff like that opening fire upon the Jackson that thing is probably dead oh very lucky he got out of there alive very very lucky again armored assault has the artillery ability and that's currently coming in nice shot with the AT gun before it dies killing the Panzer IV that's definitely an FU before you die uh, conscripts again trying to find a breaking point trying to find a way in and trying to neutralize that armor by the way absolutely love the Rakenwar for coming in with like no health it's like don't worry, we'll make it through, I promise. Yeah, you're not gonna make it, dude. Um, the artillery from Armored Assault is currently coming down, and, uh, sorry, uh, Armored Company. Doing quite a bit of damage overall. Oh, I forgot to mention Dark Swan Armored Assault, sorry. Um, in case anyone wonder what. Oh my god, they stole the Verken Werfer. Hilarious. And the Germans got it back. Nice. And if they're actually getting a conscript kill right there. T34 Vet 3, by the way with 23 kills holy god that's a god tier t34 just amazing a lot of infantry currently coming on through tons of at guns to steal as well um yeah oh my god we have something coming in what is it it is white phosphorus all right i'm gonna say it these american players maybe not the sharpest tool in the shed um i'm gonna be honest that's dumb. The fact that you called in white phosphorus on a tank. It's not going to do anything. Uh, that That's like, dude, that's like, hey, I'm going to call an infantry strafe on an armored vehicle. We're shooting bullets at a tank? Yeah. But it has armor plating. Yeah, but bullets will penetrate it. Sure it will. Sure it will. It has a cool effect. I love bullets bouncing off armor, but yeah, I know. Um, artillery is currently coming down from zeroing, as we can see by the circle. Going to pull these guys back. We also have the base artillery that's way in the back right here, which they did not kill for some damn reason. Actually, in general, I'm surprised the Allies haven't pushed through this sector, like, at all. Like, this entire sector is just open. Like, fair play, you're placing mines everywhere, Dark Squirrel. I appreciate that. I do. Spaceball, you could probably use more mines or, you know, put down munitions. Just uh, use munitions. But, for the love of God. Also... Uh, we have a nice American blob right here. And Germans are like, uh, where's the Panzerwerfer? We're gonna need a Panzerwerfer. Panzerwerfer's prepared to fire. Oh, Panzerwerfers are opening fire and target. We are, uh, gonna neutralize the threat. Uh, we may have aimed a little bit high on that one. Uh, the MG's gone, though. Oh, this one. We got the, uh, AT gun, sorta. And the blob retreated. Not sure why, but, uh, Panzerwerfers worked. Over and out. Oh god, Elephant just trying to help out, but the other T-34 coming in to jam it. T-34, the hero one, the amazing one, the three-star one, the vetted one. Man, I've been watching too much Skippy content. Just comes, oh my god. Just the Elephant's fucked by a simple turn. It's like a sideswipe. See ya, bitches! Uh, Frag Bob coming in to kill a lot of the infantry. Almost makes it out. Kind of pinned right now, but should be, uh, yep, allowed to move in a second. We have, a, we have, looks like Counter Barrage currently in effect to hit that, uh, Katusha. T-34 coming on through, looks like it's fine. A lot of infantry coming through, and by the way, Dark has nothing left. He has a simple MG, that's it. Jesus freaking Christ. I'm just glad that both sides looks like have a little bit of an incompetent, incompetent player. Kind of even things out. 
but I think Dark is, uh, seriously should stay in the hole he's in, because dear lord, he's digging himself a mighty fine one. Um, Germans are now focusing entirely in mid, most likely they're like, yeah, we need the star now, and we're not gonna be able to push on right. Thankfully, thankfully, Dark Squirrel's like, hmm, that artillery gun's been causing me a bit of grief as of late. Uh, maybe we should neutralize this sucker. Penal troops coming in. I fully expect this thing to either be decrewed or satcheled. Or they satchel both of them. I like that. I like how it's just in air. They decrew it. Are they going to man it? Either they're going to man it or are they going to blow... Aw, oh, you blew it up. Okay. I mean, that's a smart move. My dumbass move would have been like, I'm going to reman it and hit their base until they, you know, kill it with infantry and reman it. But, you know, uh, that is why I'm a caster and not a good player. Because I can tell you what not to do, but I can also know why exactly you would do the thing that you're not supposed to do. Because it's fun. <laughs> anyway, T-34 now with 33 kill. This is my new T-34. This is my new bestest friend. This little T-34. Just... It's just wrecking the enemy over and over and over again. Just quickly killing the infantry on the front. They could Panzerfaust it, sure, but I don't think it's going to work all that much. We have another American Blob coming in. The Major leading the way this time. Great Ears probably could hold that thing back, especially with a couple of rifle grenades. We have a Panzerwerfer firing, so I expect it to come in. However, it looks like Blue has realized what the Panzerwerfer has been doing and is uh, instinctively listens, hears the noise, and instantly moves out of the way. It's uh, it's great. T-34 on standby. Probably could take mid, honestly. Kadusha opening fire. I'm assuming trying to kill the Grandiers, though they're on the full retreat. Does a little bit of damage. Might be able to kill one of them. That would be cool. Very surprised none of these pants were for so... Oh, they're all reloading. Okay. This is moving Tiger Tank on vehicles, not on infantry. Finally targeting infantry. And again, it looks like here they did kill the Major. Unfortunately, though, uh, the Rifleman... Yeah, still hanging out. White Phosphor is coming down. Once again, I do not understand this tactic. It's relatively healed. Oh, they use White Phosphor and a Sturmovic Strike. And an amazing plane crash. I, I, again, Kamikaze. Go, go figure. Okay, that I make sense. Not in that context, but the tactic makes sense. Ha reduce their health, call in an airstrike to target them so it does damage. Problem is, you keep doing that over armor. Why Phosphorus does... Sh I know. I It like... In any other game, if you pour Napalm on a tank, it's gonna hurt it. But in this game, it's fine. It's, 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 it's fine. I know, by the way, I know bunkers had like air compressors so they would keep the air uh, heavier inside and keep pressure to a, de a degree where gas couldn't come into the bunker. But is that the same in tanks where they have their own air system in there? So that way it keeps gases and stuff from pouring in. I'm assuming not because of all the holes and stuff in them. Especially in this time period. But uh, let me, let me put a comment down below if that, that is true or not. T-34. No, not the good one. Please don't use that one. I like that one. Anyway, American forces. Oh, this one's ram. Oh, my God. That elephant can't be like five minutes without being hit. Save the good T-34. Save it. Save it. It is my bay. Don't hurt bay. Bay, get out of here. Be free, bay. Be free. Anyway, uh, let the penal charges. Let's just throw a fuck ton of sat. Oh, he has no munitions. He has absolutely no munitions left. He used it on the Sturmvik strike. Oh, that fucking sucks. He could have killed that if he had the munitions. That's not his fault. He literally called in that airstrike because I'm assuming his teammates like, hey, white phosphorus and do the Sturmvik strike. But that is quite annoying. You're so close to killing that elephant, but so far away. Almost a Don coming in. Very lucky he didn't get it by that mine. Oh, the engineer squad puts it out of its misery. Um, yeah, uh, so while Koning and Nemo have both have really full armies on left, and then you have the Americans, which he's fine, and this other guy's okay. No, uh, no. Don't tell me the T-34 is T-34 is fine. 37 kills. Whew! I was worried there for a second. Was worried. Oh my god. All right, penal troops. By the way, all really fucking good. All really highly vetted. Good job, Dark Squirrel. A lot of manpower too. Overall, Dark Squirrel and Spaceballs. Even though you could say Spaceballs is spamming with his infantry, although I like the healing uh, that he's doing with the conscripts. 
at least they've been doing well. The only critique I will give those two players is the fact they should have pushed on right a lot more. Um, right now, however, it looks like all guys, we have orange, we have purple, we have red, and we have lighter purple, which I'm assuming they're doing that as well because they don't have an army. Like, literally, he has an elephant, a couple stuff, that's it. He doesn't really have much of an army. But the allies, they could make a substantial attack on left and take it. Like, there's not much over there. But it looks like the allies are maybe going, prepping for an attack in mid. We have zeroing coming in, which once again is dumb because... It looks like the allies are smart enough to realize, hey, there's fucking zeroing. Move out of the circle. So, yeah, and they're also shooting down planes. Now if this plane crashes into something cool, that's a different story. But, oh my god. Oh, he's just in the line. Okay. And this is just it. Okay. I mean, it's, it does a little bit of damage. It's not worth 300 munitions to do a little damage from IS-2. Honestly, I would have waited to use that when the enemy's trying or very close to taking the center point. Use zeroing as a deterrent, maybe more so than an aggressive standpoint. Um, best way to describe it would be use zeroing to keep the enemy off points or force them into confrontations. Don't use it to just randomly kill shit in the back because it's just not going to work. Especially, you need more stable recon if you're doing it like that. But they're, I feel like they're too... Um, they, again, the, the, both sides are realized like, hey, no, that's not going to work. American forces finally outpacing that MG, just running through using that sprint ability. Wait, wait, do they have sprint? No, they don't have sprint. Sorry. He's just coming in from a different angle. My apologies. I thought he was sprinting. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, this guy can sprint. This guy can sprint with his, his infantry, um, but the, not yellow. Now, we have a lot of allied, I'm uh, sorry, Axis forces over here. Sat, literally, Pale Troops just walking on in. Katusha doing close range bombardment as well against the armor, which is freaking awesome to see that Penal Troops trying desperately to throw the satchels on. Looks like we might, and they're actually doing it against the elephant, which I I freaking love that Dark Squirrel has a hard on for this elephant. I absolutely do, because this elephant is just like, fuck, Dark Squirrel's coming in. I have to get the hell out of here. Anyway, Hero T34 coming on in. Might go for the fucking gold. Come on. I, if he kills the tiger, great. I'm happy. If he kills all of this, I'm fucking static. Now, it looks like we may have seen the last of the hero. He did help kill the tiger. One last shot on the Oswind. Took two, three shots on a dying Katusha to kill that sucker. Close range Panzwerfer. Unfortunately, it gets KO'd. Little, uh, not close enough. Although the other uh, Panzwerfer, sorry, not Katusha, opens fire on this target, does a lot of damage. Another vehicle is dead, and at least we know that T-34 died for the glory of the motherland in taking out a tiger and multiple armored vehicles on its way out. I salute thee, good sir. I salute thee. You, you, you've died. You, you died with a good, you know, knowing you did well. Now, congratulations as your uh, corpse is littered with dead conscripts who should have retreated and would have lived if they simply ran away rather than staying to fight and costing this man so much manpower. But I'm assuming, yeah, he did. He did rapid conscription so he can literally get more conscript squad. So he doesn't give a shit. But that being said, he had some guys with veterancy, so it probably would have been better. Now, I freaking love it. Spaceballs is just pulling the chain of the Axis by literally doing the Verken Werfer ambush right now. And not just that, he's backed up by an IS-2. So this is literally a goddamn trap. I love it. I just love it. Again, do smoke get out of there, but Stalinium is not going to let him go. Or Oh, maybe he is. All right, never mind. He, I mean, he is part Stalin, so I guess he is a bit of a coward. Um, you know, if you, if, you unlock, if you look deep enough in. Anyway, armored assaults. I mean, armored company bringing in the artillery. Jackson, for some reason, opening fire. Man, it's going to die, though. Oh, boy. Panzerstrike uh, or Bazooka? Doing enough damage. Yeah, Bazooka. Doing enough damage, I guess, stolen uh, to kill the, the uh, Jackson. Meanwhile, we have Dark Squirrel. He's pumping out more T... Oh, he has a T-3045? I forgot. Was that a normal T-3476 or was it 85 variant? I think it was just a 76, but I could have been very wrong with that T-34. Um, I'll have to double check and go back, but damn. Wh whatever the case may be, that T-34 did a hell of a lot of damage. Really hope we see another one pop up. But once a fucking get. We have smoke coming up so he doesn't see the satchels. This is, I think, Mark targeted, right? I think this is Mark targeted. Hold on. 
Hold on. No, it's not? Okay, it's not Mark Targeted. My apologies. But all these guys are literally going to go through. Oh, he doesn't have munitions. Dude, give Dark Squirrel munitions. This elephant is just being consistently fucked. Now, they're all three Vet 3, so that means they can throw cheaper satchels, as with the Vet 3 guy. So expect this elephant to die in the next two, in the next 30 seconds. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. He might actually hurt some of his own men. Nope, he does not. And the elephant, once again, goes the way of the dodo. Also, I love the fact that he might get the opportunity to also kill the howitzer. He's just busting on through with those penals. Now, on the flip side, we do have a panther coming on this way. And it looks like he's hitting mines left and right, which is freaking hilarious how both these guys don't have minesweepers. Even though he could honestly get the freaking upgrade for him. But I digress. Uh, looks like they're throwing satchels. Tiger might be affected by that. It is affected. It actually hurts his engine. And keeps that sucker back while the penals retreat. All three penal squads made out, by the way. And so did the um, Stalin tank. And Dark Squirrel could easily re uh, replenish his losses. So too is Spaceballs with... Um, oh my god, you have 1,200 fuel. Dude, get maybe just one armored vehicle. And I think you'll be doing a lot better. But anyway, Panzer IV thinking, Dude, I'm just going to take this entire side by myself. Here's the problem, dude. Yeah, that's the problem. You literally are fighting a heavy tank right now. So I wish thee the best of luck. But you are seriously uh, not doing well. You are ser Yeah, you're going to get utterly wrecked by that tank. So yeah, get the hell out of there. But you know what is actually a bit funny? Uh, yeah, AT grenade. And he's stuck. Okay, I was like expecting more armor, but he just removed his Katusha. Very good. Um, he might be able to get the kill. It's going to be close if the IS-2 comes in. Looks like he's going to fight this infantry, though. He's focused on armor, so the IS-2 is... Would be a little better if you didn't prioritize. He, okay, he removed it. Nice. Now, here's the problem, though, I'm seeing. Right now, 70, 60, uh, 80, 40. So, about, what, low 60s, I would say, for the a allies. Well, the Axis are actually not much better. Uh, overall, they're in the, what, 50s, I would say. And that's being generous, given that two armies literally have squat in them. I'm actually surprised that Panzer IV made it back to base. I'm really, really surprised. Oh, well. Panzer IV might have made it, but, you know, he'll die soon enough. At least a positive note would be the fact that Volv has rearmed himself and is retaking right. Uh, no MGs or anything to stop the infantry from advancing, but he's at least advanced. Are you using a Stuka Bomb strike against this? Yeah, what a waste of a Stuka Bomb. Dark, you are failing me in more ways than one. Why would you call it a Stuka Bomb there? You know what would have been a great Stuka Bomb, to be 100% honest? Like, you have the ability to hit, like, the Katusha back here. And maybe he wouldn't notice or something. Like, you could actually hit some enemy artillery in the back. Anyway, luckily, American armor kind of moving in with a Easy 8 and a Jackson right here. Opening fire. We have an AT gun as well. Uh, maybe activate those extended rounds or extended range, but yeah, it's fine. At least you push back the armor. Meanwhile, we have Dark Squirrel kind of pushing left, and once again, I don't see anything Enriquez has on left. He doesn't have squat. He's building more artillery. Good for him, but the problem is both him and Dark do not have an army. So literally... I'm not saying this game is being extended by this, but the criticism I will give Dark Squirrel and Spaceballs is the fact they could literally push through the entirety of the left and neutralize this stuff. There's nothing here. And I can't I can't say it's like, oh, Grey Shot, they don't have recon. Unfortunately for them, they have more than enough manpower. Um, sorry, let me switch it. They have more than enough manpower to literally just walk through and sacrifice conscripts. It's the Soviet way. Sacrifice conscripts to lead the charge into uncharted territory. I mean, literally, if I recall correctly, uh, Soviets would literally get penal departments, uh, sorry, battalions to go hand in hand and walk across the field. Not because they wanted to make a remake of, uh, oh, sorry, an early version of uh, Sound of Music or something like that. Or some, you know, Wizard of Oz stuff. But what they're trying to do is walk across and blow up all the mines using people because they wanted to keep going and not waste time, even though they were really inefficient with their men. Um, overall, it's, it's the logistics. Another reason why, oh my god, mine. 
Okay, good job there. Another reason why it took the, the Soviets forever to break the Germans. It's not because they didn't have the capacity to. It's simply because of the fact that logistically, after large pushes, the, the Soviets would just exhaust themselves to an extreme degree that they had to regroup. Um, which is why they like... Ex well, an, an example of which is like after Operation... Was it... Uh, Bargration? Bar... bar Bargation, but bar Bargation. Essentially, the big move they did to kick the the the, uh, the Germans out of the um, out of the uh, Soviet Soviet Union and actually pushed into Romania. Like that whole collapse of the that army, and I think it was 1944. Um, so, any case, uh, moving on in, we have American forces trying to take this side again. Not really gaining much ground. They're going to be suppressed, and uh, we have something coming in. I'm assuming it's a major. I'm assuming it's the Major. I, mean, I can't, I don't know, but I'm assuming we'll have light artillery coming in. We don't have white phosphorus, thank God. So, <laughs> Dark is deciding to move his elephant away from mid, because he's tired of those satchels, and go on the right-hand side. Now, we do have a big Jackson push. I'm sorry, the Firefly push, my fault. Uh, not Firefly, God damn it. Easy A push uh, against the Tiger. Direct fire, not a bad idea. Elephant, though, providing some covering fire. Or focus on the infantry. That's fine. Anyway, Elephant trying its best to help along with the pack gun behind it, which is actually not a bad pack, honestly. Kind of help and support the Elephant. They're trying to get around it, but again, we have the Panther still here. Uh, so that's a big concern. Good job with the pack gun behind it. Managing to do damage. Again, does need to get support on the Elephant. And honestly, if this thing keeps going, it's going to run amok with your Panzerwerfers. It's going to run... Oh my god. This poor fucking Elephant. Just put it out of its misery. Do it. Come on. Oh my god. Somehow barely alive. I really thought I was going to die right there. I honestly thought. That. That is sad. How many elephants he has burned through in the span of 30. Like 20 minutes. Oh boy. Let me get the man. Let me get the fuel and manpower back. He doesn't even have the fuel yet to get a new one. <laughs> Give him a little bit of time. Oh, Stuka coming in. Doing quite a bit of damage against penal troops, and we have an awesome uh, bombing, like just plane crash right there. Sure, why not? Uh, we don't have another Hero T34. Again, watching too many Skippy videos. God damn. But uh, we do have. Um, let's see. We possibly we have a, like. Okay, they're pushing in on left. They finally got minesweepers. It's been like 50 minutes in the game, but I'm glad they finally got minesweepers. Um, T-34, though, again, it's an 85 variant. Uh, do they have a pack gun here? Oh, my God. This is what happens when you... This is, like, the guy who has, like... How, how, do I, how, do I, how do I explain this without seeing overly cruel or disgusting? Okay. This is the guy who has a mess in his fridge. And he cleans what caused the mess, but not you know he could finish cleaning all of it but he doesn't and it just keeps growing and becoming worse and worse and worse until the fridge literally is like dude that fridge needs cleaned and you're like nah it's fine it's actually starting to affect other things in the fridge because it's so disgusting like that and in case you're wondering oh great shot that's oddly specific yeah i try having a roommate no i was an ra so i had to deal with people who wouldn't deal with that shit um but in any capacity. Oh, allies finally capture mid. But because they let it fester for so freaking long. It didn't take over the left hand side. Not only does this guy get a pack. And a Panzer headquarters. But he's locking down this side. Which is ridiculous the fact he's done so. So I will absolutely blame the Soviets for that move. That's a good Stuka bomb. Killing a lot of that blob. Look at that blob. It's, 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 it's in pieces right now. Now. We have a IS-2 trying to push forward. Pack gun kind of guarding it. Very nice in that regard. I love how it's killed five vehicles as well. But that elephant, once again, is barely alive. And I just love that fact. I absolutely do. American forces pushing on in. Again, trying to kill one of the Panzerwerfers. We could see an AT grenade, but the other going to pull back. Elephant died from the Partisans. Once again, just freaking love it. Jackson going in, killing one of the Panzerwerfers. They're like, finally, sweet relief. No more artillery strikes for a moment. Uh, meanwhile, we have 
infantry kind of pushing on in. It looks like they did zero in here, which boggles my mind why you would do it there. There's nothing. You don't even have recon, so it's going to do shit. Um, I, like, you need, like, a better example of where to put it would be, like, in mid or over here. Because that would at least push the allies out of the area that is contested, allowing you to hold that point. Now, right now, you're doing fine because the Germans actually have the stars right now. Again, mo most likely because they have left, but they're holding the stars right now. I don't know for how long they're going to continue to hold that. Because this guy's... Oh, oh, wait, Zuka coming in. Doing a lot of damage towards the MG. He might retreat that. They will capture it, barely. They managed to just before it stops. We have an armored force. I'm assuming he's going to try to break this up. We have more Panzerwerfers being brought up because, of course not. Like, wh why not? And I like how Hancock has, like, this huge manpower resane, but he's like, nah, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to get armor. It's like, really, dude? Get some freaking infantry. Like, seriously, you're down to scrapes. Meanwhile, we have a push on left, and this guy, I love it. He's fighting a T-34, which, oh, by the way, you got T-34-76. I'm assuming you, I'm actually unsure why he did that, to be 100% honest. Uh, Peel charge is throwing it across. Doesn't hurt it, not far enough. Very close, though, very close. And looks like we have a Starbuck strike coming in. That's a bit of a waste. In my opinion, because again, it's like if you're trying, just trying to hit that, it's not really going to focus there. It's really going to focus on infantry, fortifications, and uh, armor. Just not Stormvik strikes, or th this Stormvik is not its specialty. It's just not going to do all that much. Katusha on this point. Now that makes a little more sense because already strike right here will do a lot. Meanwhile, speaking of doing a lot, conscripts once again just going in, but he's doing rapid conscription, so he loses men and gets additional conscript squads for free. So he's not hurting too much. He's just mass chucking AT grenades at Stukes. Not a bad plan, honestly. Not a bad Sunday night. Now, I could absolutely see the conscripts, which by the way, if he gets run over by this, that, that'll be hilarious. Um, they could reman that pack gun. He could honestly reman the pack gun. Dude, reman the pack gun and open fire this way. You'd be so oh my god, you retreat. Spaceballs, you could be so much you could be have so much more fun if you reman that. Anyway, uh, Jackson coming in to just finish this. He might get a shot, actually, not hit the mine. Oh, main gun destroyed. T-30. Oh, there we go. Pack gun's gone. Finally, the allies are like, okay, we have to deal with this. The college roommate has put his foot down and said, you better clean this fucking mess. And then the allies like, fine, I'll clean it. And they're finally, jointly, cleaning this goddamn mess. They're taking out the defense headquarters. They neutralize the infantry and the armor in the area. And I can easily easily see them now using this corridor to their advantage first thing they could do move through and kill the caches reducing the enemy supplies is very important right now the axis are getting a ton of munitions and reducing the amount of munitions they would get per turn would reduce their effectiveness in the area also dairy some reason got a sniper i don't know why he's gone a sniper as he is not an ai as i can see on his screen but once again it is just weird it's very very very, very weird. Anyway, T-34 just chilling out by enemy lines, looking for that armor. Uh, I'm, oh, trying to go for that. Oh, I don't, well, get it? Gets the Stuka. Worth it, right there. T-34 is cheaper than the Stuka, so it killing the Stuka. Pretty good deal. Pretty freaking good deal. Jackson attacking the pack. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but, you know, you're trying. You're at least going through. I love the Jackson also now hitting the Pack Boy 3 as it turns toward it. It's like, I'm going to go before this turns bad. Um, meanwhile, Tiger Tank opening fire, hitting this position. Again, we have uh, additional guys over here. I guess, assuming he wants to heal it. Uh, looks like he managed to dismantle this guy's armored force pretty efficiently. This... Yeah, Evolve, I've been kind of looking away from you because it's just been not looking great. Axe is making some serious gains on this right-hand side. So, this has been a, a major game of contention, just going back and forth. But overall, they've been doing pretty well. Now we have Ha Ching, or Ha Kong, whatever his name is. Ha Ch, bring up a tiger. Okay, finally some armor. Nemo, tons of manpower and fuel. He's doing great. He's easily the best German player on their side right now. Uh, second to... The, um, Hotch. I think Hotch is doing pretty well. He's kind of dark as sucks, and this guy's like a third. And at least he has something. 
Anyway, artillery is coming down to try to break up all these conscripts. And I love it. I love how it's just a goddamn, like, you kill one, two more take its place type of deal. Where they just can't murder these conscripts fast enough. There's so many of these suckers. And I love it. And he's just getting so much munitions. The fact that they just can't deal with it. In his PPSHs. I just freaking love it. Meanwhile, we have armor moving through. I'm assuming they're going to try to ambush. And, like, get behind this? But, I... I don't know. Alright, we'll, we'll step into the role of the Jacksons. We'll see what their game plan is. Uh, right now, they could flank right and hit all the Panzerwerfers. Which would be three? AC? Four, possibly? Or they could flank left and hit no armor whatsoever. God damn. Um, this is one of those situations where it's like... Hey, remember World War II where the Germans went north of Sedan and went and flanked the entire British? Or, alternate scenario, hey, remember when the Germans flanked south of Sedan and literally just eventually got stopped and the war continued and the French managed to eventually beat the Germans? Two very different scenarios. Not saying also that the second one's likely, but you never know. Stuka bomb coming in. We'll see what happens. Good kill on the, the rifleman. Uh, just getting brutalized. Uh, yeah, Blue has got nothing left. He's also has a ton of manpower, but no army. So I'm assuming he's just given up at this point. They are lagging. Tiger being hit by all sorts of uh, aircraft, and we have White Foster coming down. I get it. He's trying to lower the health so that we storm for strikes and kill it. Great. But it's armor. It's still freaking armor. So I do not understand that. Meanwhile, the tiger looking like a badass with the smoke behind it. Uh, waiting for the Panzerwerfer for strike, and it's going to kill a ton of infantry. Penal troops going in by. Kills a lot more of the Oval Dot. Uh, again, what the hell is going on? Tiger being hit directly by it. Panzerwerfer coming in on these guys. Great shot right there. Does a lot to the infantry, but again, he doesn't care. Even though he has low on manpower, overall, it, it's, it's, he can just sacrifice his conscripts and just get new ones. Do they ever die? They do as they please? Wait, what? Did he actually kill all the conscripts? No, there's still a ton. GG, no re. Oh, did... No, they didn't. That's hilarious. So it's like, God... They, they must be, like, trying to murder those conscripts. They just keep... Again, rapid, rapid conscription. He just gets... He gets three additional squads of conscripts. Uh, yeah. New squads are conscripted upon losing six soldiers. I think they're three... I think it's three squads, if I recall. Two or three squads. It's just ridiculous. How many squads you get. And he's just mass producing them. And it's freaking amazing. I love it. Anyway. Uh, moving on from that. Hotching has been replaced. Oh, that's the second best player gone. Uh, he lost his tiger and stuff like that back there. So, yeah, that makes sense. They lost a lot in this battle. Yes, yeah, so right now he still has his army. But. And he lost the Panzerwerfer. One of them, anyway. Most likely to a push here. And all the airstrikes and everything coming down. This game is so fucked up. Dude, you can't keep an elephant alive to save your life. Like, I don't know what you're complaining about. Uh, again, AI kind of just sacrificing units to the Soviet horde. Uh, sure, why not? Maybe trying to appease them. Be like, please don't hurt us. We'll sacrifice all of our men. Uh, but anyway, at least he had a ton of resources. So the AI is currently, or at least I think was using that. Nemo's in a really good state. He's doing great. Freaking Nemo just excelling. Anyway, unfortunately, maybe not so much. We have a lot of Jacksons now coming in. Not a lot of AT outside the armor, which Jacksons can do a lot of damage toward. And we have three Jacksons now. Tiger advancing. That's not a good idea against three Jacksons. Again, using armor piercing rounds to do a ton of damage without taking much of, if any, damage. Once again, T-34 going in deep, trying to do a, bit, but a bunch of damage. Looks like he managed to kill the Stuka, which is, once again, hilarious. Not much of an army, not much of an army. Why Why did you get this sniper? I 
Against hordes of infantry, the sniper is maybe not as effective. Okay, maybe with the bullet I could see it, but not really. Anyway, Jackson's moving in. Somehow... Oh, nice kill. Panzer for some reason, did retreat. Tiger retreated, though. He did lose two of them. So I'm assuming... Yeah, pa yeah, yeah Panzer Grenadiers just pounce off housing, this son of a bitch. He could kill the last one. It's going to be close. Damn! That was really freaking close. I'm actually surprised that thing didn't take more damage. Multiple pounds of files going out. Or, yeah, they go out, but it's a little too, little too late. Jackson, half health, but the, uh, uh, luckily Nemo can easily get more armor and such, so it's not too big of a loss. Multiple airstrikes now coming down in mid. I love the giant blob of infantry, and they just get up and they're just like murder. Can't stop allied infantry, man. Dude. Like, I don't... Like, honestly, this could be way worse. Like, this should be way worse for you guys. If Because, once again, the allies aren't taking this. Also, I love the fact Spaceball says 1,800 fuel. Another 125 fuel and, and enjoy. Wait, what? Oh, the, the Panzer Headquarters he killed. Okay. Bulldozers are just hitting the infantry. Oh my god, who's gonna win? Up, oh, easy eight. No! Damn, Tiger had first draw. I thought easy eight would, but no. Tiger barely survives, pulls through. Nemo showing. Oh god, Nemo lost his entire army. Yeah, this is this is game over. He has enough to get his army back, but I, I really don't think he gives a shit anymore. Dark hole is left. Uh you played okay. Yeah, look look. Yeah, N Nemo, I feel your team. I really do. I'm sorry. You had to, you, okay. L again, I will fully emphasize the fact that Nemo was the, probably the best player on the German team by far. Like how many kills and deaths, and overall, Kate. Like Nemo was doing. Like Nemo was exceptional. He was destroyed. Like look at the losses for the two American players. They were being destroyed. The thing was, though, was the fact that even though they're, they they still, even though they're being beaten, they never fully collapsed. They still managed to hold their front, or at least keep up a resistance. <sighs> Dark Squirrel and Spaceballs kicked the shit out of Dark and Enrique. They just couldn't hold. And the problem was, they, this game could have been over so long ago. But what ended up happening was they didn't push, and then they, they pushed mid. I feel like one of their players should have pushed left. And the other players should have helped with mid as well. And then kind of like un encircled Enrique's and Dark Hole's ba Harry's base. And maybe even killed it. That's what I would have recommended. Because right now all you did was let him just fester and stay there. Without really putting much pressure. And that just let Enrique and Dark Harry just come back multiple times with heavy tanks, heavy infantry, etc. And just cause hell. Where this game could have been over like 20 minutes ago. So if you have a front... Always test to see if the enemy's there so you can advance and try to take it. Even if you think the front is kind of, like, fortified, maybe you do recon, something like that. Like, try to figure out what's there, and I feel like you do a lot better. But, um, yeah, overall, this is a pretty good game. Again, thank you, Dark Squirrel, who's the individual who submitted this replay. Thank you so very much for submitting it. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Volve got most damage. Again, his Jackson's very good in that regard. He lost a lot of them, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, six of them died, but 45,000 damage. That's pretty damn good. Dark Squirrel, I'm assuming you're T-34, actually. Hold on. Let me double check something. Yeah, you had IS-2. I think this is the same one. I could be wrong on that. Uh, penal, oh, your penals were fantastic. Yeah, you only have one IS-2. That's pretty damn good. And your T-34s were incredibly potent. Um, so very, very good job in that regard. But yeah, overall, um, really good game overall. Uh, sure, I would say, like, again, the worst players and the best players overall were probably on the German side. Worst being Darkhole and Enrique and best player Nemo. Like, Nemo, uh, above and beyond with his KD and every stuff like that, I can say was probably the best player in this game. The problem was Volve and the Blue gentlemen did not, like, they didn't break. They still held their line together, and that kept Nemo and Hotch in that sector. Also, Spaceballs in his goddamn infantry spam. Hold on, uh, sp let me pull up space balls real quick because I'm assuming it's all conscripts. Yeah, 174 kills, 30 33,000 damage. Like, Jesus Christ, those conscripts were just annoying as hell. And I'm assuming, yeah, he built no armor that game, by the way. 
he no armor was made by space balls like that's insane he did the conscripts challenge and won that is awesome partisan t uh, tank hunters by the way he only built five of those suckers i mean he kept those relatively one piece until the very end and then just said fuck it i'm going with conscripts and chucking at grenades good for him good for him uh but in any case that's gonna be game i want to thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed make sure you submit those replays and the moments and of course make sure you like subscribe if you like the content maybe you even check out my patreon and twitch page down below you can check out my twitch streams every so often on um, mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays but in any case it's been great shot one seven and i'll see you all next time Hello everyone, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. That include Tim, Nathan Angus, Jordan Shavat, Jacob Allspy, Aaron Yee, White Hot D, Toussaint, Streaking Wookie, Sebastian Marslick, Pyro Shark, Only Play Apples, Lil Koosh, Junior Chicklist, JP Val, Josh, Joey G240, Jofo, Chris Bailey, Ace, and Malam. Thank you all for your incredible support, and thank you to the Patreon supporters down below. This has been Grayshaw17. I'll see you guys next time.